in a multi-object system? So I first thing, I hope you recognize that this question, there are multiple objects. All right, so in a multi-object system, the trick is always to, to, to take um, the whole system. I'll explain what I mean in a while. All right, so, so imagine there's, there's just one gigantic object. All right, so, so you just need to see all the three boxes, all the, all the strings as, as though it's one big black box. And, and inside this black box, right, um, what is the masses? So if I have M, 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 three of the boxes together, the mass is 3M. All right, and like all FBD, re recall your concern with only the external forces. I mentioned before in FBD, I don't really care what is the internal forces. There are a thousand and one muscle force within me that I don't really care. It doesn't affect my overall movement. Okay, so same thing applies here. In this FBD, I am only concerned with external forces. I don't care about the internal forces. All right, so internal forces, for example, this one, this one, these two ropes have tension, okay, but they are considered internal forces, internal forces, and I don't care about them. All right, so on this external, on this 3M system, ask what is the driving force for this whole system to move towards the right? The only driving force literally the driving force is a 30 newton pulling force okay and ask yourself are there any you know opposing force that prevent the system from moving towards the right sometimes there's friction sometimes sometimes you have to write in friction all right but in this case friction is zero because the question tells you it's on a voila you know on a frictionless surface okay so as of now in summary the trick to solving this question is first look at everything as one big system lump all the masses together number two look at the external forces ask yourself these two questions pen it down if you want uh, what's the driving force that makes system moves okay then also ask yourself in addition to this driving force what is the opposing forces all right so these two questions will allow you to easily identify what are the the external forces on the system so with this your first objective is to figure out acceleration so net force equals to ma okay and same old method again um you have 3m here don't forget about the 3m you want to figure out acceleration and deconstruct the left hand side the net force as per as per what i've to, taught y'all so it's 30 newton minus zero i need to set right words as positive in this case all right and with this you will realize that acceleration is 30 over 3 m 30 over 3 is 10 over m okay and this is your value of acceleration. Okay. So uh, always aim for acceleration of whole system in a multi object uh, question. All right. Once you are done with this, you need to find attention in other ropes, then it's very simple. You, you just look at the respective boxes. I'll label them one, two, three for easier reference. Huh? One, two, three. Okay, so let's look at box one. Box one, you have only one tension force. Okay, so uh, on box one, I should have written here on the three M boxes previously. So now on box one, same thing, net force equals to MA. Uh, my net force is only made out of tension force. There's only one M here. 
and the acceleration is still 10 over m. All right, the acceleration of the whole system here must be the same for the individual boxes, right? Because if it's different, if the acceleration is different, then the, the, the strings would have broken or become you know, loose. Okay, so with this, it's very easily you realize T1 is simply just 10 Newton. Okay, then let's look at box two. On box two, I put a box two that is a T1 pulling it towards the left. Uh, there is also a T2 on the right. And you, you just figure out T1. T1, this T1 uh, is 10 Newton. Okay, so same thing, net force equals to MA. Uh, on the left hand side, deconstruct net force, you get T2 plus all the forces. T1 is negative, t negative 10. Uh, mass times the same acceleration value. Okay, so with this, you realize that T2 is 20 newtons. All right, and there you go. You have your, your individual forces really. Okay, so I will sum this up. This technique can be used for D10 and D11. All right, so in summary, when faced with a multi-object system, uh, first thing you do, aim for acceleration of the whole big, big system. Okay, first thing you do, aim for acceleration value of the whole big system. Then whatever small, small forces you want to find, just keep applying second law on the smaller objects. On box one, on box two, for example.